-hmm. when you have um, like an uh, let's say an action scene or more, there's lots of stunts, but there's still little bits of uh, dialogue. What's your kind of take on that? And not just for Interstellar, for instance, but maybe also in like Fast and Furious when there's there's cars going left, right, and center. Right. How do you how do you kind of manage uh, stunts? I mean, the, for the most part, you know, everybody's aware of the bits of dialogue, and, and we make sure that we cover those clean at some point. You know, some some shots, it's like, okay, well, you've got to see all this stuff going on in the background. It's going to murder the dialogue. We get that, but we're going to do a special close-up just for the dialogue without, you know, 700 engines running, all that kind of stuff. And um, Fast and Furious was, I, I didn't know what to expect going into it, but it was actually... An extremely pleasant experience. Like the the crew was fantastic. The DP was one of the nicest people I've ever worked with. And we had I really liked the director. We had like super cooperation. So whenever we had any kind of issue, you know, we would bring it to them and explain it, and they'd say, okay, well, and we'd all sit down and work it out together. It's like, okay, well, we're not going to get it in this angle because this angle is all about you know whatever the car the burnout behind with the tire on fire and all that you know. But, you know, we'll get it over here where we don't see that, and we'll make sure everything's turned off for that. And so we did. We covered ourselves, and it's fine. And how does that how does that process kind of come about? Is it just something that kind of naturally forms on set, that every time it's like, right, we're moving on to this shot? Do you then do a kind of little uh, checklist of maybe what you've done before in pre-production, just flagging up stuff, and then bring it up again? Or just talk us through how that, how that kind of... Comes about. Yeah, I mean, I think it's more sort of on the day. You look at, you block the scene, you know what's happening, and then you say, you know, and, and then as you just look at it, you say, okay, well, clearly we're not going to get good sound on these shots, but we need to make sure that, that we either have a different shot or we get a wild line or, but, you know, and then that's something that you bring to the first AD and the director and you, you say, so, you know, how are we going to do this? And then we all discuss it and say, okay. And so then you're, you know, comfortable when they're trashing it because you know we're going to cover it and if for some reason they forget or don't cover it you say hey wait wait what about the shot the sound thing like oh right right okay guys hold on we got to do one more for sound you know whatever so but it's kind of a I feel like it's more of a daily thing and it, you do have conversations in pre-production but they're more about larger issues like you know we're going to build this thing and how can we build it so that it doesn't mess you up or you know is there like if you look at the set is there a wall that you think if we made it a wild wall it would be really helpful to you or whatever that's more like pre-production stuff. But then those specific shots for the dialogue or whatever, that seems like more of an on-the-day kind of thing. 